Today, in this video, I'll show you how to dish out a good amount of DPS in Monster Hunter World. Greeting Hunters, without wasting any time, let's jump on our first build. I'd like to call it DPS build. So for this build, I'm using Soulfire Lash Rune, attack of 891, white sharpness, 0% affinity, element blast, which is 210, and I'm using self region as augmentation. One thing I would like to add here is the uh, Hessen recovery that you get from two set of Nargigante armor is already attached to the weapon, which will work with the health region very nicely. As for armor, I'm using Rhyme Guard Helm Beta, Brachydium Mel Alpha, Brachydium Braces Alpha, Reunius Coil Alpha, and Rhyme Guard Graves Beta. And as for charm, I'm using Master Charm 3. As for jewel, I have 3 Challenger Jewel to max Agitator skill, 3 Critical Jewel to max up Critical Boost skill, 2 Vitality Jewel to max up the Health Boost. 3 Expert Jewel to max Critical Eye and 1 Blast and a Sharp Jewel to max Blast Attack and Protective Poly Skill. As I've set bonuses, Critical Element from 2 set of Falconer Armor which increases elemental damage when landing critical hits. With all the buffs you will have about 90% chance to hit the critical damage. And Agitator Secret from 2 set of Brachydeus Armor while active, this will grant plus 28 attack and 20% of affinity, so more chance to create the monster. As for skills, we have Critical Eye, Max, which increases affinity on your weapon and you have more chance to do crit damage. Agitator Max will grant plus 28 extra damage and 20% chance to do crit damage when monster is in rage. Blast Attack Max increases your elemental damage. Attack Boost increases your damage to the monster. Health Boost will help you to get maximum health on your health bar. Critical Boost increases your critical hit damage by 140%. Artillery is a default skill not relevant on this build. Critical Draw also by product of the armor. This increases affinity when performing a draw attack. Divine Blessing, about 50% chance to take less damage. Airplug comes as default, but a great skill to have as this nullifies all monsters roar. Protective Polish, keep your weapon sharpness for up to 90 seconds after sharpening. And Hessen Recovery, comes as default with a weapon, helps region your health every time you hit. So if you put everything together, we'll have attack of 921, sh uh, white sharpness, affinity of 40%, Elemental damage of 280 blast, defense of 891, uh, is very strong against fire, water and ice, but a little bit weaker against thunder and dragon. As I said this build is more DPS focus, so it's not a comfortable build for many of the hunters. And now we'll have a look at the last build, which is based on around the skill master touch. This is one of my general build which I like to take to everywhere to hunt with me. For this build, I'm using uh, Surface Drug Blade, uh, attack of 1007, white sharpness, 15% affinity, element dragon 180, average elder seal. Uh, as to upgrade this weapon, I've used slot upgrade 2, Tearstra Technique, and free attack increase. As for augmentation, I've used affinity increase and health region. As of armors, I have used Case of uh, Crown Beta, Fell Shroud Mail Beta, Fell Shroud Braces Beta, Case of Coil Beta, Sarah and Velda Grapes Alpha. On the sockets of this weapon, I have used Hard Defense Drill, 3 Critical Drills, 1 Expert Drill, 3 Protection Drills, 2 Vitality Drill, and 1 Medicine and a Recovery Drill. So, combining everything, as skill, I'll have Critical Eye Max. This increases affinity for your weapon to do more critical damage. Defense boost, 
this will give you 10% plus extra 35 defense and 5 extra elemental resistance. Health boost will simply give you extra health bar. Recovery up. This will make any health restoring effect 30% more effective. Recovery speed. This will heal you your red bar 4 times faster than the normal. Critical boost increases your critical heat damage by 140%. Part breaker helps break in monster part easily. Divine blessing will take up to 60% less damage. Blast attack, dragon attack, latent power, peak performance simply default with the armor. Protective polish will keep your sharpness at 100% for about 90 seconds after you sharpen the weapon. As for the set bonuses, we have Master Touch from free set of Theostra armor set. This prevents your weapon from losing sharpness on any critical hits. Super Recovery comes from two set of Valhazak pieces. This will heal any health loss beyond even your red bar. So if you put everything together, we'll have Attack of 1007, Sharpness White, Affinity 45%, 210 Dragon Elemental Attack, Eldro Cell Average, Defense of 1054, it's very strong against Fire, Water and Thunder, and a little bit bigger against Ice and Dragon. And here we have it guys, hope this build will help you any new or the old Monster Hunter players, and hope that you have enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching.